It's the terrifying alert that flashed on millions of cell phones across the East Coast Tuesday morning, warning residents of, of all things, a tsunami. So you can't imagine the panic when so many Americans got that ominous warning, but it turned out to be a false alarm. Another scare sent to millions of people's phones. Yep, just three weeks after a false missile scare sent citizens scrambling in Hawaii, it's happened again. Some found humor in the situation. Nice to see that guy from Hawaii found a new job, tweeted one jokester. But others pointed out a real concern. Give enough false warnings, when the real one comes, no one will pay attention. Bob Strang is a Homeland Security expert. These aren't things that are done on purpose. These are mistakes, and these are people that are trying to keep us safe. People that day in and day out are prepared to help us. And and we're all human, mistakes happen. So how on earth was a false tsunami alert issued? Here's what happened. The National Weather Service conducts a monthly test of its warning system, which goes out to newsrooms in weather advisory services. One of those services, AccuWeather, mistook the test for an actual warning and issued the false alert. This is an automatic process and it was a coding error uh, on behalf of the U.S. government, uh, which encodes these tsunami warnings and other types of uh, weather messages in a very specific format. There is currently no tsunami threat. The National Weather Service quickly sent out the all clear. 